In this video, I will show you how to install Roblox on Linux. I'll have chapters in the video so you can skip parts if you already understand what Linux is or how it works. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly explain what Linux is. So first of all, what is it? It's a free and open source operating system. Other operating systems include Windows or Mac. And um, operating system is just kinda what controls everything that happens on your computer. So. Every operating system is going to work differently, and yeah, that's kind of what it is. And then, uh, why should I care? If you haven't yet installed Linux and you clicked on this video because you've heard of Linux before, but you didn't entirely understand why it would be worth it, uh, it can be considered safer and more customizable compared to Windows or Mac. This is mainly because of their implementation of how they do things and also the fact that it has a smaller market share so there's less possibility for viruses. And in most cases, Linux is actually lighter to run compared to any operating system in the competition. Uh, this is because Linux has nothing like uh, telemetry tracking, uh, any other unnecessary stuff. And I know this for sure because their code is open source. In other words, anyone can read it anyone can edit it. So, uh, yeah, that's... They can't hide anything. I also wanted to point out that your Linux experience, as of recording this, may not be flawless, especially in terms of uh, graphics settings or trying to run things that aren't natively on Linux. Uh, usually, nobody is paid to develop the operating system, which means features are usually developed slower. Although this is true, uh, many features you'd use on Windows or Mac will work. You may have a faster Roblox workflow with less bugs on Windows if you don't want to tweak any settings, but for most computers, you should be fine by default and should be getting the same or higher um, frame rate speed. Uh, I'll link a video for you to learn more about Linux at the top right if you're interested. Also, uh, now that I have that out of the way, I just wanted to say that you should not just download Linux and erase your Windows installation. I recommend dual booting, um, which may sound complicated, but it's really not. It's actually the default choice in the operating system I'm gonna be showing off today, which I highly recommend. And uh, basically what it means is when you turn on your system, you can choose between Linux, and in this case, it's called Zorin OS, which is a type of Linux, and then you can also choose between Windows. So that's how that works. And if you ever um, don't want to use Linux anymore for any reason, you can just uh, delete that partition of your hard drive and then just give it back to Windows. And you can look that up if you need to do that. It's not that complicated. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, as I said, I'm gonna be installing Zorin OS in this video. I'll leave a link in the top right once again on a video about how to install Zorin OS. Uh, I'll be using version 16.1 for this video, and that's the latest version as of recording this. So um, let's open up a Firefox browser. This is what your thing will look like by default. Actually, my main display changed, but you'll have a Windows button or Zorin button and a bunch of other stuff. So by default, if you hit the Windows button, which you'd normally use as a start menu, there's like a search feature, or uh, you can also just click on the bottom left of your main monitor, and then it'll show you a bunch of apps that you can choose from. I'm really sorry, I can't show that. What you wanna do first is go to the Grape Juice page, which Grape Juice is sort of a program that's maintained by uh, someone else, by the way. It's not developed by Roblox. Roblox isn't officially supported by Roblox, <laughs> um, but it's uh, pretty flawless, works pretty well. So if you uh, search Grape Juice Roblox or go to the link in the description, then uh, first of all, you'll see this dev forum page probably. This will give you more general information about what Grape Juice is and how it works. And then this page right here, this GitLab page, will basically have all the code. You don't really need to care about the code, but here's the dev form page. So it's a graphical thing that basically assists you if you need to change any settings and also makes it work under the hood. So um, on the GitLab page, you'll see an installing grape juice section right here. So you wanna click that to get to the documentation and it'll have simple system requirements. 
your computer should be able to run that but just double check just in case you should be fine though um and you want to find your linux distribution make sure your version number is correct um so in my case zorin os 16 is the most uh up to date one so uh, that's what i'm going to do and choose install from package because that's actually a lot easier than installing from source but just hit install from package so if you can't find it it's probably down here which for you you're gonna have to switch a distro or just use it on windows or just not use roblox at all i guess <laughs> so yeah that's that applies to very few people so uh as i said i'm i'm going to now click on zorin i16 if you scroll down you'll see at the installing grape juice part right here and yeah basically what you'll see is a bunch of words a bunch of like phrases and what you need to do is open your app called terminal i uh, just go into your hit the windows button and just search terminal uh, and that will open up this thing right here and don't do this with normal apps unless there is like guides there are guides written about it and it's a trusted thing like grape juice is popular and it's good so don't do this with everything right away. Make sure there's a guide that says, hey, you can do this because you don't want to break your system or get hacked or anything like that. So basically all you need to do is copy all of these commands. Um, you might have to enter your password or you will, and that's because you need administrative privileges as you would for installing almost any Windows program. And basically just run through all these uh, and you hit control C to copy or you can select it and do uh, copy there or and then in the terminal it's control shift V not control V to paste it so just keep that in mind because that's pretty important you don't have to type it all out individually it just has a different key bind all right so I just finished all the installation steps I also changed my main display because this next part is pretty important to see um, so if you hit your Windows button or hit this button and search Grape Juice, uh, then you'll see Grape Juice, Roblox Studio, and Roblox app. Now, um, also before we get into this, there's one more thing we need to do, and that's um, step 9 for this part, but it should be at the bottom of yours. You need to install a patch version of Wine, basically. If you don't know what that means, it's fine, it doesn't matter. So just go into your terminal and then um, paste those three commands. For me right now, uh, you have to hit enter on the last command because it doesn't go through, but uh, multi-line pasting does seem to work for the majority of it. I, okay, for that time it seemed to work, so that's weird. So uh, yeah, after you do that, it should be, Roblox should be ready to run. So I'm going to open Roblox and uh, close the terminal, don't need that anymore. And then you'll get this thing that says installing Roblox. And if you hit OK, then it'll be, it should start the game automatically. If not, then hit the play button again on the Roblox website. And now um, we're in the game. Look at that. It's wonderful. Um, as of right now, I don't know how to fix this. There's no grape juice documentation, but I have a uh, screen tearing. Things don't update correctly sometimes, which is kind of weird. I don't know why that is. If you're having that issue, I'll show you how to try to solve that right now. So uh, I was in full screen. I could just hit F11, get out of there. I'm gonna quit the game and we'll open up Grape Juice. And that's, as I said, the manager. So then you wanna hit player right here and scroll down and basically change your renderer until you see a difference, which if you don't see a difference, then maybe you search somewhere else. But that's why you should test Linux before installing it. Because, I mean, before uh, uninstalling Windows, that is, you should definitely uh, test to see if you can use this uh, as a normal day-to-day -day thing. So uh, I'd also recommend uh, checking the DXQVK option if you are using Vulkan, um, test that with that as well. So test Vulkan with this on and this off, see if it makes a difference. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's as simple as it is to install Roblox on Linux. It's definitely gotten simpler over time. Most applications these days can be downloaded through your software manager, which if you just search software, 
on Zorin, that's what it's called. Uh, you have stuff like VLC, you have OBS, you have Discord. Um, most mainstream things like that. And then you also have a bunch of Linux-specific applications that may function as alternatives to Windows or Mac applications because they're simply not able to put them on Windows. So, uh, yeah, last final note. As I said, again, I just want to say this a bunch of times. Do not just switch to Linux. Um, make sure all apps work before you switch. And if an app doesn't work or you can't download an app, there might be a web version which may work for you. But by web version, I mean like a website. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.